On that breaking news, the death of Lisa Marie Presley, singer, daughter of Elvis and Priscilla, and just 54 years old. She died at a California hospital tonight after going into cardiac arrest. Yeah, this caught a lot of people by surprise mm -hmm. because she'd been so visible. Presley had a busy week. She was there in Memphis for her father's birthday celebration at Graceland over the weekend. Lisa Marie was often in town along with her mother for Lisa events Presley's honoring movie. Elvis. She also attended the Golden Globes this week and by. watched as Austin Blocker took home the top acting prize for playing her father in the movie Elvis. Lisa Lisa Marie lost her father when she was just seven years old. She made headlines as an adult when she married pop star Michael Jackson. The marriage only lasted two years. She recorded her first album in 2003 and it was a success. In fact, going gold on the record charts. But tragedy hit again in 2020 when her 18 year old son Benjamin committed suicide. In 2011, she was honored by Governor Bill Haslam for her charity work. Four days later, Mayor A.C. Wharton issued a proclamation honoring Presley for her charitable work here in Memphis. WREG's Ashley Paul is live tonight at Graceland with reaction from fans. And this took a lot of people by surprise, Ashley. Yeah, Stephanie and Greg, it is a sad night here tonight. We've seen fans trickling in to pay their respects, and the mood here is just somber. I mean, this is Graceland. This is where Lisa Marie grew up. That's why fans we spoke with say this news tonight hits especially close to home. Just four days ago, Lisa Marie Presley visiting her childhood home to celebrate what would have been her late father's 88th birthday. Today, uh, he would have been 88 years old. Um, it's hard to believe. Um, and I think that he would be proud. I think this year has been an incredible year. Tonight, we celebrate her life, which was cut short when she died this evening at the age of 54. We spent all afternoon in there talking about him, his family, and all of a sudden we get the news on the, fo on the phone. Fans at Graceland this afternoon shocked by the news that Lisa Marie was rushed to the hospital after suffering cardiac arrest. I mean, I just think it's so tragic. She's so young. The Globes were a couple of nights ago. Obviously, there she was there with Priscilla. According to CBS News, she was immediately put on life support in a medically induced coma after the incident. Her mother, Priscilla, tweeting out this afternoon, quote, My beloved daughter, Lisa Marie, was rushed to the hospital. She is now receiving the best care. Please keep her and our family in your prayers. We feel the prayers from around the world and ask for privacy during this time, end quote. Lisa Marie left a legacy on the world, especially her home here in Memphis. I think Lisa Marie has just been this big light in like showing the good in Elvis and like what he's brought and especially his history in Memphis. And so, I mean, it's just so disappointing to hear. Now Elvis himself died right here at Graceland 45 years ago from cardiac arrest. He, along with both of his parents, his grandmother and his grandson, Lisa Marie's son, who died back in 2020, are all buried here at Graceland. We'll keep you updated on any funeral arrangements for Lisa Marie once we learn them. For now, reporting live at Graceland, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News, Channel 3.